pioneers in innovation unique in every action welcome to another intense exciting episode on the game changers today's game changer is a person who is loved by the entire nation an individual a veteran for Sri Lanka rugby captained Candy Sports Club and also Sri Lanka introducing to you none other than Fazil Marija welcome to the show Fazil thank you and uh, how is life treating you these days life is uh, good these days uh, really busy with the baby but life is so far so good entering into the fatherhood a lot of things to discuss at the end of the program uh, and the match yesterday how was it uh, is it a good start for the season? Uh, not really. We are a little bit disappointed. The whole team is a little, little bit disappointed. But uh, we'll take the win. Uh, but we had a lot to work on uh, in the next match. So hopefully... One because game. of the first game, was the score low or how was it? Yeah, it was, uh, it was okay. But uh, for our standard, uh, we can do more. Like to get set it takes time yeah is that because of maybe uh, everybody was nervous because of the first match and maybe hopefully the second match will be all right everybody will play well let's hope for a good season for candy sports club yeah. so first tell tell us how is it uh, for you to be a rugby professional in sri lanka and how much people love you yeah, it's uh, interesting and uh, uh, we are getting more professional uh, year by year, the players, and uh, it's uh, going in a good direction. And people, especially in Candy, they love rugby. Wherever we go, wherever we play, they are there to support us. So the love and affection is unconditional, uh, being a professional rugby player. Yes, that's right. So, could you please tell us about your entrance to the world of rugby? How did it happen? Yeah, I, I think, think we will have a long yeah. story to talk about. Yeah, because of my family, the whole family, my cousins, uncle, whoever who was a uh, who was a boy, who everybody played uh, rugby from I think uh, uh, 1960s or 1970s. From that, so because of that only, I played rugby. And uh, my uncles played for, most of them played for Sri Lanka and Candy, uh, Police, then Sia, so, and Navy. Uh, they all played because of them only, I think uh, I started playing rugby because uh, it was in our family. So everybody's playing, everybody, my aunties are going for matches, then they're taking us. When we are little, then uh, slowly by slowly, like, I was uh, starting to play rugby. So, how did these skills come into you? Like, no one else has these standards in skills like you do. How do you, uh, how did you get these skills? Like, your coaches or you? Coaches, especially from home, home. Uh, we were living in Murgampala. We, like, everybody stayed together, like 20, 30 people in that house. So, in the backyard, we always play rugby. So from age maybe to four or five. So from we the very playing, little yeah, stage. So most of the uh, family, everybody is like 80% uh, is boys. So every evening we used to play rugby. So my cousins and uncle, they also come and play touch rugby in back in the backyard. Maybe, maybe that's why uh, I got the skill from. <laughs> All right. So how did that impact you to be who you are today? how I much support you got from them i think uh, especially from uh, the second generation i mean the cousins nilfa the box then uh, yeah from those two families uh, i got really like uh, got a lot of help from skill wise then the, uh, everything whatever you need for rugby the skills yeah. uh, and the necessary thing so uh, did you start as a fly half Yes, I always uh, played fly up, but here and there I played uh, scrum off as well and full back. But uh, from small days I used to play fly up most of the time. So you're a born fly half? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, many people are like, uh, 
what I wanted to ask how your school and something that you cannot forget from your school days yeah I think uh, I left school in 2004 uh, that year I think we won every game sevens you name it uh, we, the sevens uh, 15s knockout champion every game we won uh, on that year that is the uh, most uh, memorable uh, thing in my school life so from small days uh, you started like f from small days it was all about winning is it uh, yeah and uh, first I was uh, playing under 13 then uh, Amjad Bakrus the captain under 13 then I was uh, nine this was at Kingswood back yeah, there yeah Kingswood that's right uh, when, uh, that that time I was uh, eight or nine years old I just uh, eight nine and, years so you, know, you started playing for under yeah, 13 my cousin was a captain so I just went for practices and that's how I was started uh, playing rugby in school. Going back to your first coach, uh, can you remember how he taught you skills? Yeah, I think uh, there were two coaches, I think Mutumala and uh, AC Tenneko, those two were my young uh, coaches. Yeah, I think uh, I, I can remember barely a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, how was it uh, to win the triple champions in the year 2003? 2004, uh, yeah. 2003, you were part of the team yeah, as well and you captained uh, the 2004 team yeah, to win right. the yeah. Triple Champions. How exciting was it? Yeah, it was uh, about the team because uh, the, everybody played really well. They, they put their heart out. I think because of that set of uh, people I'm here now because they, they, give, they gave everything like I have never seen a team uh, like that, we yeah. are compared to other teams in Colombo, Candy. We are the smallest team, but we had the heart to like fighting hard to like 15 guys who uh, who like, played their hearts yeah, out. Yeah, yeah that's right. All right. So uh, you say that heart matters uh, yeah. to win games. Yeah, that's, that's how you combine, is it? Yeah, that's right. Like. It says like 80% hard, 20% skill. So that's 80% <laughs> hard, 20% <laughs> skill says Fazil Marija. 15 years uh, of club and club rugby and national rugby. So you've captained. Uh, how did the entrance? Uh, you you were privileged to wear the Candy Sports Club jersey and the Sri Lanka jersey being in school. So yeah. no one else has got this privilege yet, the national jersey, uh, while you're at school. So yeah. how, how much exciting was it to win it, yeah, to, to play it, for it? It was uh, like uh, when first I wear the jersey in 2003, then I was 17 uh, plus years old. Maybe second or the third youngest player to play Sri Lanka. So. That was uh, uh, like a coincidence. We had uh, uh, under 19 trials in Candy, so and the national team was in Candy too. Uh, they were practicing there as well uh, for the Hong Kong game. So George asked me because that those days I couldn't uh, understand uh, English that much. <laughs> so when I was in school, and uh, the coach was George Simkin. He was a New Zealander. So he asked me. Uh, do you guys want to play a practice game? So I asked, the, then I was handling that uh, the candy side uh, school. So I asked the uh, players, uh, uh, do you want to play a practice game? Then uh, I said, yes, coach, uh, we, we like to play. Then after that, only I, I got to know he was asking me to play uh, fly off position for the trial game. So I said yes. <laughs> I was nervous after that. Then I played the practice game. Then I scored two tries uh, in that uh, practice game. Then uh, this was against uh, Hong the, Kong. No, or uh, the national. No, uh, national selecting uh, before the before the Hong Kong and they had a selections. Uh, selections. So ah, right. I was invited to play the selection game, uh, fly off. So I uh, played and scored two tries. Then they they told me. Uh, come and play for the Hong Kong game. I said, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so that, that that was a coincidence? Yeah, that was. <laughs> you you didn't expect that to come? No, I, I didn't expect that at all. Because I was nervous, nervous as well. So, first school game, I was 17, so I 
that's a very interesting story i yeah. think our viewers will also love it uh, because no one had uh, known that this far the viewers of sri lanka yeah i, I don't think uh, nobody knows uh, this story <laughs> <laughs> all right so have you got any role model fazil like uh, you follow someone yeah when i was uh, like just after school uh, uh, indrajit bandarnaike who was playing for kandy he was playing center i'm lucky enough to uh, uh, play with along with, with him uh, for the last year he was uh, retire he was retiring in 2004 so last few games i was playing with him so one of my role model is indrajit banda like, yeah all right joining us on the game changer is fazil marija the veteran of sri lanka rugby stay tuned we'll be back with a short commercial break Welcome back. You're watching the Game Changers on our television. Joining us today is the veteran and the legend of Sri Lanka rugby, Fazil Marija. Fazil being a brand ambassador for many brands in Sri Lanka and being a brand ambassador for Sri Lanka itself. Uh it's 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 something uh, that everyone cannot do. But uh, my question to you is what is your message? uh to our viewers to be a personal brand how to be a personal brand i think uh, do what uh, what you like and give you 100% that's the secret i think the secret is 100% give dedication yeah. yeah so so when we talk about sports and discipline like a person who is doing sports we hear that he is well disciplined so in even in organizations we see they are they they are outstanding than the others yeah. how does this discipline come i think for me if i start from school uh, the discipline uh, the team the seniors who were before me they were pushing me, like the young young guys to be disciplined come on time come on practices then do this so that's how i started uh, like getting discipline still now i'm like that like on time so trying to be on time and i think that's the way from small days you have to for me it's from school days uh, started this, this when we talk about time management it's it's the key to be a perfect individual yeah. so uh, your advice to others to how to manage time how do you manage time basically uh i think uh, practice work yeah, everything uh, i come before 5 minutes that's my uh, time line for everything who whatever for practice or a function or anything so i i come before 5 uh, minutes so that's how i get made yeah all right so um, being a captain is a huge responsibility uh, like how did you manage to lead many teams not only for championships but triple championships yeah for me as a captain i think uh, get to know the players well first then uh, then talk to them and uh, get 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 them like get uh, get the 100% out of them that to know the players yeah first well. i know uh, i want to get know the players then uh, how to handle them uh, maybe sometimes i have to tell them s softly then sometimes i have to talk to them harder than um, then sometimes i personally have to talk to them there are different different kind of uh, players and because they come from different, different clubs back, yeah clubs and backgrounds so first thing is get to know them then talk to them what is their problem and then maybe after that uh, getting 100% out of them after that then they tend to give you yeah, 100% when they right. know you very well so same like uh, like like a business strategy you should have a sports like a strategy to win a game 
So what's Fazil Marija's strategy to win games? Uh, my strategy is uh, for me I'm giving 100% then uh, after um, maybe playing smart and uh, know the opposition uh, how they play where their weakness then where their strength so playing for their weakness is the best uh, this do you all uh, watch matches before yeah we do we do then we analyze and uh, what is their strength and weakness and uh, play say that you get the toughest opposition let's say it's a final of the league uh, so how do you plan and prepare for that so we we, we watch matches uh, of whoever in the finals in uh, then after that only we uh, uh, do game plan for separate game plan f uh, for them and what is their weakness then uh, we are practicing the whole week uh, those things and for the game that's how candy is the best team of all so yeah, far sorry. so how important is teamwork and the key for the success like I think teamwork is number one with our, like uh, we have a lot of uh, individual brilliant players uh, in candy side but we had to play as a team that's the main uh, this is a team game so we have to play as a team and win as a team and lose as a team so that's my uh, thing so I don't care about um, uh, good players or brilliant players, number one players in Sri Lanka. They have to play as a team. That's my uh, thing. Play as a team, work as a team and lose as a team. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Play as a team, work as a team, lose as a team, says Fazil Marija. So it's time for a short commercial break. We'll be back soon. Welcome back. You're watching the Game Changers on our television. Joining us today is the Sri Lanka's veteran rugby player, Fazil Marija. Why did Fazil Marija decide to hang your boots at the end of the 2017-18 season? Uh, is that because, like, it was like right after entering the fatherhood? Yeah. I think everybody says, uh, but uh, I was, uh, I had a plan, so I think I played 15 years of uh, Sri Lanka rugby and uh, candy rugby. I think it's time to give a, a young guy a chance, and um, uh, that's why uh, I was mainly thinking like I have, I have achieved everything in my life uh, in rugby, so it's better to give a young guy a chance. Uh, and come up. Have you already made a young player to the, to fit the number 10 jersey? Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, we have a few, uh, three fly off in Candy. So uh, one of our school, uh, Kingswood number 10 last year. So he's also there, Jamal Dean, Nigel, uh, three of guys are there. So I'm working on it. So we'll see. <laughs> All right. What's, what are your future plans, Fazi? Yeah, future plans is um, I'm, I've started an academy for small kids, like age uh, from three to three to seven. So I'm planning to do that. Then uh, hopefully to be with my family. <laughs> All right. How how is the support that you're getting from Yasara? Uh, she's uh, really good. So she's the one who doing everything beside rugby. So I'm only concentrating on rugby till uh, I've finish my career so till uh, she's the one who doing so she's helping helping me out uh, a lot with so the baby and uh, the family life everything so uh, the saying is right behind every successful man uh, there is a woman yes that's right <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, talk a bit about your rugby school that sounds interesting so yeah. uh, what's what's the major plan behind it like uh, three years is very small age yeah. is that the age which is the right time to start a sport yeah, uh, for me uh, for my concept is like get get into rugby like uh, not rugby rugby stuff like 
get to like rugby at that age that's a uh, i think a main this thing you need to like like something to start so that is my uh, uh, like motto like thing to like rugby that's what uh, i do like in this um, uh, academy this for the school rugby school so i think hopefully it's going well and uh, more, more kids are coming now and uh, it's interesting did you, did anyone stop you playing rugby at any time of your journey uh not really the only one who was going to stop is my mother she didn't stop uh, <laughs> i thank anyway, her for that very small days she st- started stopping you yeah she was over like uh, when i'm doing um, in you know, five years uh, she shut the so uh, she w- i stopped for one year i think yeah only that year i stopped then uh, again i started again after that she didn't stop so all right so your advice to all the parents in sri lanka who doesn't encourage like your mother did back then who doesn't encourage kids uh, to do sports like uh, i think everyone should have a sport in their in their in, in their day to day life your advice to those parents uh? yeah i think uh, sports uh, must need for uh, like any any individual like a girl or a boy whoever but i think um, to uh, most of the from sports you get hand eye coordination then feet then it's more you get the more work of the brain i think the brain functions well yeah functions well from small as if you can like i think i i'm telling every parents to put your kid to some sport any sport so it's good for your health and uh, at least what are the challenges that you face throughout this journey fazi the biggest challenge that you can't forget like through my whole career yeah to your whole career where some some injuries may occur like how did you fight back the challenges yeah i had so many injuries my recently i had a back injury slip disc so i was fighting so now i am fully 100% fit so i was uh, fighting for one year like getting uh, rehab done then uh, exercises then physiotherapy it, it was a lot of work hard work to get to this point because uh, now i am 100% fit uh, for the last season so challenges like how do you how do you manage to win matches that you have already lost what do you tell your boys uh, you i have seen candy sports club and sri lanka at times under your leadership you fight till the last minute of the game yeah i am a fighting person like uh, i will never give up on anything like uh, even before the match i tell the boys never whatever happens in 80 minute last 2 seconds or last 5 seconds we're going to win this so i think that is the attitude it f- if one person can change then the every, every every other person in the team will come come behind you i think um, one guy has to take uh, the lead take the lead and uh, so you you been a lot of like the entire journey a uh, lot of the the major part was winning but you have few losses yeah, how did it feel when you lose yeah i hate to lose i hate to lose but uh, i give my 100% it's it's a learning curve for me the losing matches how we that's how we win uh, from last year also from candy we lost two games but after the first two games then after that we won uh, every game come up and we won the league uh, and knock out as well so it's a big learning curve from la- last year to this year as well so this year we are going to do the same thing and uh, get the negatives uh, from that and play from this year any plans to start coaching for a school or uh, not really i'm not planning to coach uh, any school or for now I uh, just want to do the, this rugby academy and uh, have a few family. <laughs> What's the state of Sri Lanka rugby right now? Is it going up the curve or uh, how is it like right now? Right now I think it's still the same from 4 or 5 years back. The uni- union is trying to do something. I think it's not enough. 
players has to go abroad and um, play for another club or train in another uh, uh, country if we have to change rugby in Sri Lanka. So I think that's only way we can uh, go move forward. All right. So, uh, how will the future be? What do you think that we should do to be in the top in Asia? I think, uh, uh, like uh, as I said, uh, the players has to go abroad or New Zealand somewhere in uh, good rugby uh, country and uh, learn more about rugby and uh, more get more skills, uh, then exposure, then. Uh, play a few games over there and uh, I think you have to do that otherwise we will be the same uh, Sri Lanka side for another so many years. So what do you think is your biggest achievement in terms of rugby? Rugby is captaining uh, Sri Lanka, Candy. Uh, leading the team uh, lead. for the Asia A side win. Yeah, in, in 2015 I captain uh, every Format of the uh, Candy Sevens, Candy Fifteen, Sri Lanka Sevens, Sri Lanka Fifteen. So uh, that year was I was captaining, and then uh, in 2010 I played for Asia Pacific Barbarians with uh, George Gregan, Justin Marshall, Rico Gear. Then those All Blacks players I was uh, playing along with uh, uh, those uh, legends. So it was a uh, like a memorable thing. thing so that those you cannot forget those yeah. achievements your advice uh, to all budding sportsmen in Sri Lanka yeah if you love what you do and give your hundred percent you will be there someday so work hard and uh, never give up on uh, what you like work so hard play hard yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> all right so Fazil's message to all our viewers out there. Yeah, simply keep loving Sri Lanka. It's a beautiful country. Thank you very much for joining with us on the Game Changers today. We wish you all the very best with your future endeavors. Thank you very much. See you all next week with another intense, exciting episode on the Game Changers. Till then, goodbye.